Cold Haven families and Frank, we hearing to you all wonderful people. Hallelujah. Bless. I want to say even to you all families and friends, bring you a word this evening. Just in going our generation, I'm talking about the youth families and friends. The youth, I need to thank God for the life of the youth on this platform. Hallelujah. The youth, brothers and sisters, the youth, we're going to pray for our children and the youth. Let them be on a rise for Christ Jesus. Let them know that they need to be born again. Let them know that they have to repent and accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and personal Savior. Hallelujah. Let them know that they don't have to have the spirit of proudness in them because they're proud, they're so proud and arrogant that they don't have any respect for other people in the world anymore. Brothers and sisters, our youth, our generation have gone astray. We need to pray for this special generation. Oh Lord, help me. I'm going to read for you Ecclesiastes chapter 12, what it says. Father, I want to tell you, thank you for your word that is coming onto your people. Let me decree you go increase. Thank you for this platform, trusting God in our generation. Bless every life and every family on this platform, every child, young and old. Hallelujah. Bless every heart, every heart, oh God. Bless every family. Bless every generation, oh God. I want to bless, oh God, the youth. I tell God, thank you for the youth, our youth. Father God, our youth need to be on their ass. In this time, oh God, you, the youth are the future generation. That the enemy is seeking for them in destruction. Father, I pray for our youth all over the world. I pray for the ones that are waking up, oh God, to salvation, to repentance, and accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as the Lord and personal Savior. God wants for the youth to remember. God wants for everyone in this world to remember him in the days of their youth. Now when you are old and wrinkled, you don't have no strength in you before you want to serve God. Serve God while you are young. Because God needs you now. While you are energetic. While you are strong. While he needs you to carry on some mission for you when you are old. It's very difficult for you to stretch your bones. Your bones has all, everything has been stiff. So youth, God needs you now. For you to serve him. He don't need you when you are already old. He needs you now in the year of your angelic. While you are in your angelic year. Your more reasonable year. Your more clever year. Your more sensitive time. This the time he needs to use you. So youth, God needs you for you to go out there and tell the gospel. Go tell on the mountain that Jesus Christ is Lord. Tell the people that Jesus Christ is coming very soon. Tell your friends, your brothers and sisters that are living for the world, that are running after material things. Tell them that Jesus Christ is coming very soon. They need to give their life to Christ Jesus to repent of their sins and accept Him as the law and foster Savior. Matthew 2 32, he said, Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. At chapter 3, chapter 2, verse 38, say, Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and be baptized and accept Jesus Christ as a law and pastor. Even Jesus Christ, when you are here, he preached on repentance, families and friends. Youth, God is calling the youth, our future leaders. Youth, you guys are the future leaders. Our children, our young generation, the boys, the girls. God want you. God need the woman that will be out there who will be the Naomi, the Esther. Who will be the Hannah. Who will be the Priscilla, or Deborah. To go out there. Who is the Jeremiah, the Isaiah? Who is the Paul? Who is the Paul and Salias? Who is the John the Baptist? Who is Stephen? Who is Jonah that's going to go out there to carry evangelizing, to carry the message to, to the Babylonian lands, to tell them that Jesus Christ is coming soon, they need to repent before God destroy the city? Who is the missionary that will go out there? To carry missionary work all over the world to tell carry on the mission of god all over in the world to carry salvation and repentance the youth god need the youth to do this youth god need you all i pray that god arrest all youth that are living in the world because this war have nothing to offer our youth families and friends this war the war is passing the way why shall it profit a man to gain a word and lose his soul? The youth are selling their soul to the devil for fame, fortune. Why shall it profit a man to give 
to lose his soul. What shall he gain to lose his soul? Or what shall he give in exchange for his soul? Nothing you get in the world you can exchange for your soul. Your soul is so precious to God. You need to be on fire. You've God needs you. The boys and the girls. You are the future missionary for the world to go out there to get missionary all over in West Africa, Southwest East Africa, and Southwest East North of the world to carry the gospel. Hallelujah. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 say, Remember God in your youth. God wants you to remember Him while you are staying young. While you are staying young and clever and smart and wise. God wants you to remember. He said, Remember, He said, Ecclesiastes chapter 1. He said, Remember now that Creator in the days of thy youth. He don't want you to remember Him when you are all wrinkle you don't know how long you have to live on this earth that you'll be saying tomorrow you're going to repent tomorrow i will give my life to christ jesus do you know tomorrow no man know tomorrow tomorrow is the day that will never reach families and friends so youth you are the future generation of god that will carry on the message of salvation and repentance and the kingdom of god is at hand to what to wake up, to carry a wake up call up to your brothers and sisters that are perishing because of lack of knowledge. He said, my people perish. They are going after material things. They're selling their soul just to become rapper, hippo, dancer, all these things that are vanity families and friends. Your soul is very, very important to God. Do not take anything of the nothing in this world for you and I. It's every year, it's thing in here, it's vanity. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. You and I are not of this world. We are separated from others in this world. We are the chosen generation, peculiar people, wonderful people that are made in the image of God and His likeness, that He wants us to live according to His ways and statutes. He say here, as Ecclesiastes chapter 12 says, remember that Creator. In the days of your youth, why evil days coming not? The evil days are coming, brothers and sisters. The things are coming on the face of the earth that you and I, the Bible say, may have with fear them. You need to know God now before the time of reach because we are living already in the evil days of calamity and evil and prosecution and famine and destruction. So draw near to God now that God will draw near to you. Accept Jesus Christ today. He came to die on the cross for you and I. He never came for special kind of people. He came for sinners like us. So draw near to God that God will draw near to you. Save God in the days of your youth. This platform trust going in our generation belong to the youth, families and friends. I'm sorry that I have not been putting a lot of messages. I begin with the message of the youth and certain times I'm putting all different kind of messages but I have to go back to what the platform stands for. It's meaning for the youth, the young people to put you guys on your guard and desist for all these things of fornication, adultery, lies, cheat, arm robbing, all these things, killing, drug addiction, all these things, drunkenness, all this thing is not belonging to it belongs to the devil now you precious children that god has given special talent come out of the world discover your talent some of you people are missionary some of you people are evangelists some of you people are our are, 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 are pastors and apostles and teachers some of you people have intercessor some of you people are also so many people are genital. So many people are prayer warrior. So many people are there to support the kingdom of God in every way. The kingdom of God needs support you are here. Those gifts are in your heart. Hidden treasure are in you. The youth discover your gift today. Discover those gifts that God has in you that you're not yet discovered. Youth, you are the future generation of the world. Hallelujah. He said, remember him in the days Remember your creator. Who is your creator? God of the heaven and the earth. His name is Yah. He, his name is Adona. Remember God now while you are staying young. This is why he said in Ecclesiastic. 
He's telling you, remember your, your creator in the days of your youth. Why the evil days coming now? Evil days are not coming now. Because the time is coming. There will be no time that you have for yourself, God, anymore. Now is the time for salvation. That you need to accept Jesus Christ. Begin to work in the vineyard of God for your salvation in fear and trembling. Youth, our guests and our boss, precious, wonderful souls. God is calling you to serve in the day of your youth while the evil days coming out. Now you can sit down, watch television, go to school, come back and do all the activities. Time is coming. There will be no more current. There will be no more television. There will be no more internet. While the evil days have now, you come knocking to your door. Make the time now for God to get to know him. Brothers and sisters, families and friends, the youth, our future generation, our precious children. Why evil days coming now? He said, not the years draw near. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, the time will come that God will say, He got no pleasure in you and I anymore. Because when He gave us the opportunity to repent and, and use ourselves for His kingdom, we have our time busy in the world after seeking after material things that will not benefit us. We need to bear our treasure where rust and more or thief cannot break into steel, which is your salvation, which is for you to seek the kingdom of God, first Matthew 6 33. Which is for you to repent, which is for you to be born again. In John chapter 3, about Nicodemus, I came to Jesus at night. He said, how can a man be born again? When you enter into your mother's womb the second time, he said, no. You have been born of the water and spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Through immersion, through water baptism, as you are born again. You will be baptized. The time is coming that you have no pleasure in us again, brothers and sisters. You will have no pleasure in you. He said, while the sun or the light or the moon or the star be not darkened, the moon is still shining, the sun is still shining. Why is not yet darkened, families and friends, the youth, our generation, precious youth, boys and girls, special wonderful people, your future is so bright. Don't waste time for the gift that God has imparted into you to impact the world. It's not just for you to leave that gift and God call you with that gift. Why are you imparting the world? You need to discover that gift to impact the world. Hallelujah. And he said, yeah, while the sun is still shining, while the light is still shining, brothers and sisters, while it has not yet gone darken, not the cloud returning after the rain, this is the time you need to get closer to God. This is the time you need to serve God you. In the day when the keeper of the horse shall tremble, because the time is coming that the keeper of the horse will tremble above what they are seeing coming on the face of this, this earth. And the strong men shall bow themselves. The strong men always give way for what is coming in this world. Even I do not serve God now. And the gilder the, the, the ceases because of there are few. And those that look out of the window will be darkened. The windows be darkened. There will be a time, brothers and sisters, that you look through the window, it's dark. There's no light out. The utility of darkness. You are in the light now. The day that is still here, try to serve God, get closer to God. Discover Him for your life. Repent as you repent and give your life to Christ Jesus. The Holy Spirit will begin to minister to you as you continue to read the Word of God. He will speak to you through vision, dreams. Oh, yes, through whisper, through His Word. Yes, through His remember what He's going to speak to you, families and friends, brothers and sisters, our youth. And the door shall be shut in the street. Every door be shut in the street. The time is coming. There will be no door that will be open in the street. Brothers and sisters, everything here will be upside down. You've just the time you need to serve God. And when the sun of the glimmer is low, then he shall rise up at the voice of the bird. And all the daughters of the music shall be brought low. Also, when they shall be afraid, of that which is high and fear shall be in the way and the almond tree shall flourish and the grasshopper shall be a burden and the desire shall fall shall fail because men go to his long home we need to go to our long home our home is heaven it's not this earth everything will fear around you and us with me to say this is the time to go home that Christ is coming back soon the stars and the sun will not be shining forever. 
There will come a time it will not shine anymore. What will you do? When the internet is closed, when the social media is closed, when there's no current, what will you do at that time? Or even the silver or the coal losses the gold. Bow be broken or the fishes be broke, be broken at the fountain or the heap broken at the chest, the, the sea chest. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was. When all these things are torn against you and are in this world, because we refuse to yield to obey the voice of the Lord to serve God. Then when you are returning back to the dust, is it the time that you call on Christ Jesus? Is it the time that you repent and surrender to him? Then he won't listen to you, families and friends. Hallelujah. He said, then shall he, the dust return to the earth as it was. The spirit shall return unto God who gave it. Hallelujah. The body will return to the dust on earth. We're going to keep from dust. We're going to return back to dust. And the spirit will go back to God that gave it. Is it the time you won't save God? Because vanity of vanity says the pressure of all van is vanity. Vanity is vanity, families and friends. As Joe was talking. And moreover, because the teacher was wise, he still taught the people knowledge. Yet he gave good heed and so out and set it in order many proverbs the teacher sought to find out acceptable words that which that which was written and was upright even words of truth which is the holy bible that is the word of truth i'm bringing to you as generation of this youth of this generation i need to turn to god god love you so much he said you, you should remember him in the day of your youth he's calling you to repentance he's calling you to salvation he's calling you to the kingdom that you will be saved, that you will build, that rust and teeth and more cannot get into. The word of the wise are grown, and the nails fastened by the master of the assembly, which are given from the one shepherd. Hallelujah. But furthermore, by this, my son, be admonished by making many books, yet is no end, and much study. In a witness of the flesh. Make yourself available to read the books they want to go. To get more knowledge about what is coming for you and I. This is the word of the Lord. Children, obey your parents in the law for this is right. Youth, obey your parents in the law for this is right. Ephesians 6. Honor that mother and that father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Children, obey your parents in the law. Ephesians 6. Talking about you, children, you youth, obey your parents in the law. For this is right. Honor the father and the mother, which is the first commandment with promise. As you are serving God, remember to do this. Your older pe people have to be respected. Your mother has to be respected. Your father has to be respected. That it may be well with thee. And thou may live long on the earth. God make a promise for this commandment. You will live long on this earth. And yet, Father, provoke not your children to anger or wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and the admonition of the law. We need to bring our children up in the admonition of the law, the fear of the law, but not to provoke you, children. This is the word of the Lord to you today. Praise be to the Most High God. May God bless you. As you listen to this message, I pray that the Holy Spirit minister unto you, youth, as you come across this video. May God bless you in the name of Yahweh. Nine forevermore. Bless Sabbath, uh, Beth, bless one day to you all. Thank you for subscribing to this platform. Thank you for supporting this platform. May God bless you all in, in a very special way that subscribe and supporting this channel, the likes, the hearts, and the sharing. May God bless you all. Shalom. Have a blessed Oh, bless wonderful Wednesday evening. May God bless you, youth, as you continue, as you get to prepare to seek God's face and serve the Lord. Shalom.